Hey guys, welcome back. This is Thorm, and this is episode 91 of my single player Tivina World. Hope you guys are going awesomely well. So, in this episode, what we are going to do is let's just grab one more of these. We'll just come over into this storage area just to get some supplies. We are going to head on into the nether back in this episode. And not to work on that little tunnel system we worked on in the last episode, I think that's good for now. Although I did make a few little minor changes, I guess, since the last episode that I'll just uh, show you guys quickly. Where are we? Ah, <laughs> through here. <laughs> so, here we go, let's cruise on down here. I did make uh, some changes to this pathway, I've started putting in some walls. Uh, try and blend this in a little bit, and also change these stairs a little bit, putting some magnet blocks in the middle here with some glass on top. I think that looks good, it's a nice little transition down into this area. And you know what, I might even leave it something like this. I like the way this is kind of shaped at the moment. It kind of blends in going from some kind of structured uh, style to some unstructured style here with just the netherrack kind of carved out. Probably get rid of this staircase, but um, yeah, that's the way it's currently looking. I like the way that looks. I like the, the feedback you guys had as well about this little room. Um, something different, I guess. But that's what we're not working on. We are cruising on in this direction. I'm going to grab myself a horse. And we are going to head out to the Guardian Farm, so you're the closest, you're the, our, our ticket for the day, so jump over. Alrighty, let's cruise on this uh, in this direction, and um, I'll see you guys once I'm at the Guardian Farm. Alrighty, so given that this farm is pretty much going to become ineffective once I upgrade to 1.11, I kind of want to work on this area and do a bit of enchanting because I pretty much won't be able to do that again once I have upgraded. So I'm going to work on this area a little bit to get things started here in this episode. And what I thought we could do is expand this little area out here that I've started to, to go in this direction. And I'm going to put some storage in there, probably put a, an enchanting room. I was even thinking of if I can have like a little offshoot to store a horse as well because Leaving a horse down in this little hallway here is a little bit dangerous because there is open fire like this. And I have lost a couple of horses which have just uh, stupidly wandered in to the flames like this. At the moment what I've been doing is just storing my horse. There's a couple of ghasts out here. There's no more nearly <laughs> really close here. But I've been storing them out the back here and uh, for now that's been okay. Get down there. And um, But yeah, that's not very safe. They can wander around in the nether. I kind of want to keep these guys protected. It is a long walk back, so that's uh, something I have to be mindful of. So I'm going to try and keep a little storage place back here for horses as well. So I'm going to work on this a little bit. Not sure what the look is going to be yet at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'll come back once I've uh, figured something out. So I've made a little bit of progress here on this little enchantment room. Pretty simple, easy layout. Uh, just a simple box, a couple of armor stands. Need to find some saplings for our flower pots on either side, but um, pretty straightforward. Easy peasy, and as I was building this and kind of uh, creating the shape for this area, I was thinking for this area back here, this is where we're going to have our storage. Have to be careful there's no <laughs> lava back here. Um, but I was thinking, wouldn't it be crazy if I could somehow try to put in some kind of fish tank looking design? And um, I've got this area down here where we've got this trapped um, poor old uh, guardian down here, but he's having the time of his life bouncing around all day in there. I thought it wouldn't be interesting to try and have one that could bounce up and down vertically in a space. So if I had some chests on perhaps the sides, then try and make some kind of fish tank looking thing out the back here. And I thought, hmm, that could be doable because, yeah, I've got a few ideas on how I could try and do that without killing the Guardian. <laughs> That's always a hard part because it can jump around and might take some full damage. So I've got a few ideas on how to do that. So I'm going to prepare this room now and uh, try and dress up this area a little bit as well. And then hopefully we can make ourselves a fish tank. So before we go ahead and build ourselves an aquarium in our single player world, I thought we should do some experiments. So I've created myself this very simple flat world uh, in creative mode. And I've set up this little mock kind of fish tank or aquarium. And I was curious to see what would happen to some guardians who would be in a, a box like this. And uh, what I was really curious about, would they take full damage over time? So I've got some uh, wet sponges in the back here and some varying block heights. I thought perhaps if they were to jump in some weird angles, would they eventually take full damage and die? So I've had this set up and running for well over eight hours now. And I had two guardians when I started and they are still here. So that's a very good sign. I have named these guys, so that's why they haven't despawned on us. And I thought perhaps the reason why something like this would work is because I do have hay bales down the bottom here. And it kind of goes well with the wet sponges, but 
If you didn't know about um, hay bowers, it basically reduces fall damage. And to kind of test how that would work, how are you going Mr. Slime? Here we go, we've got a, a very simple uh, pillar here set up and I'm going to go up the top and I am going to uh, drop ourselves a guardian and we'll see if it survives this. There's just grass down the bottom here and we'll see what happens to him. So let's go down and follow him. What's going to happen? Okay, that's too much. So he dies from that fall. So let's go up the top. Well, before we do that, what we should do is put down some hay bales. So let's see what would happen if we repeat that test with some hay bales down the bottom. Now, I know this works with players. I just wasn't sure what would happen with mobs. And I'm pretty sure, uh, given based on my testing, the Guardian would probably survive this. That it would have some damage probably, but it's not going to die from that. Yeah, there we go. So that is probably helping in a scenario like this where even if they do jump at a weird height and they are going to land on the ground, they are going to land on hay bales. And hopefully that's enough to suppress any full damage these guys will get, meaning they'll never die from full damage. So I think that's a nice simple setup. This is probably what I'll try and replicate. There's no point in me showing you guys how to build this. It's very simple, very straightforward. All I've got here is um, some uh, blue glass, blue stained glass with blue wool out the background. Look at those loud. <laughs> I think, uh, are you attacking? That would be an interesting fight, wouldn't it be? Guardian versus slime. <laughs> anyway, so this is probably something I'm going to replicate in my own world and hopefully this can turn out okay. I think having something like this could be pretty straightforward to set up. So I'm going to get busy creating this in my single player world now. And uh, yeah, hopefully I can uh, replicate something like this. So I thought I'd show you guys the current progress. This is in back into my single player world here and I've started to try and replicate that uh, fish tank slash aquarium design into here. And I was thinking, hmm, should we add in some of those tall ferns perhaps in here? I think um, this particular flower rather than the other ones looks good for some kind of under the sea look. I don't really think these other ones <laughs> well, would look that good underwater. It'd be good if we did have um, some more water based plants, but hopefully one day that'll be added to the game. In the meantime, this is what we'll have to make do with this. And I think the wet sponges will add a bit of look as well, where we've got the um, the animation of the dripping water that you should hopefully still see through the glass as well. So that should look okay. Now, I don't have any blue wool or uh, blue glass on me, so I have to head back to the main island uh, to do that. And I think that should be pretty much it. Then I guess I've got to try and get these guys in there, and that could be a bit of a challenge. Um, yeah, <laughs> we'll have to think about how we're going to do that. So I need to get myself ready, I need to get, grab myself a couple of name tags as well. So I'm going to head back onto the main island to grab those supplies while we've got these gas above us. <laughs> Whatever they're doing, like stalking us at the moment. Um, but I thought, hey, before we do all of that, at the start of the episode I showed you guys I was collecting a pick, which I don't have on me. <laughs> Where is this pick? Hmm, it should hopefully be... Nope. Uh, here we go. Perfect. Awesome. I wanted to show you guys something that I have been doing as well. I'm really trying to maximize the use of this farm before I may not come out here ever again. Who knows? Um, and that is in through here. I um, What I've been doing is trying to just AFK or just do something around this guardian farm to buy the time and get some of these guardians to spawn. Um, for one, it's um, I guess a good way to collect resources, but two... Um, something that is also changing with 1.11, besides the fact that you can't have uh, a large number of mobs crammed into the one spot without them suffocating, um, look at all these guys spawn in, I love it, um, is uh, the drops that you get, these guys get, the fish, they are now cooked when they just uh, burn in fire. So I've been collecting a whole lot of raw fish uh, in preparation for when these guys will start dropping cooked fish just in case I need to use raw fish in the future, so yeah, that's all the cook stuff, so let's keep, just ignore this thing in the middle here for the time being, <laughs> and yeah, here, I'll put in here a whole lot of raw fish, and that's coming from the drops from these guys, we've got all this working quite well, and I've got some more storage just in case down here as well, this is something that I haven't really done enough of in this game, when they make a game feature change like that, uh, I don't tend to take advantage of it, so I don't really stock up on things that get removed or changed in the game, so... I want a whole lot of raw fish. No idea what I'll use it for. Maybe need to train myself an army of ocelots, but there we go. That's what I've been doing, so... While I've been uh, doing that, I've been running around all the caves here and collecting a whole lot of this stuff. This stuff. 
which is... what do you think it is? <laughs> Hopefully you know what it is. It is some coal. So I've been busy collecting a whole lot of this, and I thought, hey, while we wait for a whole lot more of these guys to spawn and get all their drops, I'm going to mine a whole lot of coal. So this is everything that I've collected from nearby caves from here. Typically I'll only take what I need, but I've uh, scavenged from a lot of the caves around here. Except for the visual, uh, visible... wow. Except for the visual kind of coal, which is up there. Um, but yeah, this is everything from the caves, so... Here we go, I'm going to mine all this out, and let's see how many uh, XP levels I guess we get. We're already on 72, so we are quite high, but hopefully we can get ourselves at least a couple of levels by mining something like this. Can you believe after all that, I pretty much only got a level. <laughs> So it goes to show when you're at these kind of high levels, it is pretty hard to go up another level without a decent mob farm. So, there you go. So I'm back over by our fish tank area, and I'm just adding in the blue wall for the background, and this is hopefully going to look a little bit like water when we've got glass in front of it. I think it's the best we could do. I did bring over a lapis blocks. But I, there it is there, but um, yeah, the, the texture that you get from lapis uh, from a distance like this, it kind of blends in and I don't think it will look as good. So for now, I'm just going to stay with the blue wool. Um, it's certainly less, uh, less expensive on the resources. So it'll be something like that. And what else should we put in here? Oh, something else that I did bring over. I did want to experiment with, let's get rid of these. Let's see what one of these blocks would look like. If we had like tall grass. Ooh. It's going to be that colour, really. Hmm. That means the ferns are going to be that colour as well. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> kind of yellow on yellow. Okay, for now I think we're going to have to stay with this colour. And, hey, wait for this one. And, um, yeah, I think that's the best we could do for now. Hey, little guy. How are you going? So, yeah, alright. So we'll stay with this for now. Let's put on the glass. Now, I have to get some guardians in here as well. But um, let's just see what this looks like first. Now, I should be able to do... Is that going to look okay like that? Maybe. Um, okay, let's put down some glass there as well. So I'm gonna... Whoa! <laughs> Don't need one out here. Take that, thank you. And, alright, let's put this down. will not take long. And hopefully this will look okay. Now, I don't really need to put glass there. Does that mean I want to put there? I uh, think for now, let's leave it there. That might look okay. Or not. But um, for now, we'll leave it like that. Put this over. Now, I can still open these chests because you can um, open a chest when there is a transparent block above it. So that means these will still open. And there we go. That's our makeshift fish tank for now. I could probably add some lights at the top here to kind of resemble the lights that you typically have above a fish tank or an aquarium. And there we go. So. That should work for us, I think. Now, the hard part is going to get Guardian in here. And, yeah, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that. So, first of all, let's offload... Hey, I should use these chests. Let's just put some stuff in here. This is what I don't need yet. And I need some name tags. So, what are we going to name these guys? I won't be able to see the name tags. So, what if I were... Let's... That's not... <laughs> wow, I was thinking... I can't name it. Here we go. An anvil, this is what I want. Let's create ourselves... What do we want here? Well, let's just go with some classics. <laughs> and... This would do. <laughs> yeah, I won't be able to see these names, but... Um, you know what they are. Okay, let's see if we can get these guys out now. I don't want these guys to take any full damage, so let's... Let's get rid of these blocks for now. I don't like the fact that we've got so many Guardians in here right now, but that's not much I can do about that. Um, unless I do this quickly. Uh-oh. Okay, this is... Let's just see who follows me. Maybe we should just take that tactic. Let's see who's going to come into here. Anyone? Come on. I know you're kind of interested. We're coming closer. Come on, come this way. <laughs> Uh, now, I think you can lead them from memory. I might be wrong on that. Come on, you're bouncing around pretty close. Come on, you know you want to come in here. This is so nice looking. This is your new home, potentially. Um, hmm. 
I don't think I've got any leads on me. Oh, here we go. This could be a close... The problem is when he gets in here... Uh oh, oh, I thought he was going to jump in for a second. Uh, they might just jump straight out. So this is going to take a little while, I think. So what I'm going to do is wait around for hopefully one of these guys to just bounce on in here. And then I'm going to have to seal them up pretty quickly. So, um, yeah, I think this is going to take a little while. Okay, we've got one in here. Quickly, we have to somehow... Oh, I haven't named it yet. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm panicking. What am I doing? I don't want to put this down. Let's close this up. Let's... Whoa, who's shooting at me? Okay, let's see if I can name you first. Let's see. There you go. Welcome, Dory. And now we need just one more. <laughs> oh, is this going to be it? Nope. False alarm. Here we go. Oh, yes, we got one. But, oh, no, is he going to escape? Did he escape? I can't tell. I've already placed blocks. Um, no, we've got two in there. Perfect. I need to plug this up. Okay. Now, one of them is unnamed. <laughs> Alright, so that means I don't have long before these guys despawn, so let's try and get rid of... Okay, we should be fine, I don't see any others. Now one of these guys is unnamed, so I have to sneak in here. And hopefully do this without getting myself killed. The who of you is unnamed? Uh, this guy. Alright, so you're Nemo. Perfect. <laughs> here we go, there we go, we've done it. That wasn't so bad after all, actually, it didn't take too long. And hopefully I've got both these guys named. <laughs> I think I did. And there we go. Perfect. What do you think? Does that look okay? Anything you'd change? Um, the background I might want to try and do something with, but I think for now, that looks alright. Alrighty, so I've made quite a few more changes here, and here we go. I wanted to show you guys firsthand. So I've put in some lights at the top here, and I did raise up this barrier one extra block. So it actually goes all the way to the ceiling where these ones... There's a block above it. I think that looks good. It's a little bit of a height difference, which is always a good thing. Um, what else did I do? I've added in these uh, armor stands with the armor on them now. Pretty easy stuff. Um, and I've worked on this area. This is where I'm just going to store some horses. So I've just created a, like a little pen for these guys. And it actually works out okay because I went up a level here. I thought, hey, let's add a bit of height variance. And I went down a level. And this lines up where we had this existing meshed kind of look from the outside here. So this is what it looks like there. So that looks pretty cool. You'll be able to see horses or anything else that I store in there. And I think that should look okay. I'm pretty happy the way this whole place has now turned out. I don't want to add too much more detail. Oh, I also added in some pot plants over here uh, for this area. But uh, there we go. I'm not... Ooh. Hmm. Yep. I don't want to... I was about to say, I don't want to work on this too much because you can overdo an area. Hmm. What do you think? Should I have that there or not? I have one on the other side. Not sure. Anyway, there's, there's many things I could do to this area to try and um, maintain it, make it look all nice and neat, but I think uh, this is going to be good enough for now. I'm pretty happy the way it's all laid out. I'll have to move all these items from these chests over into these chests, but that can be for another time. Oh, and um, yeah, I did notice that I did place another blue block in here, and it's something that I know that you guys would... um. I'm going to go nuts over if I didn't actually replace that, so let's just do this now. Uh oh, don't you dare escape. <laughs> See how quickly you're trying to come at me? I think that was Dory. Damn you, Dory. <laughs> anyway, there we go. So I figured we can't end the episode until we've done at least one enchantment. We've created all this nice area, and we haven't even done an enchantment yet, so I think that's something we should do. Now I need some lapis, so let's grab ourselves some lapis. And let's see what we're going to get. What terrible... Oh, jeez, I'm that away. <laughs> Alright, there we go. What terrible enchantment are we going to get? Let's see. We are going to get... How did I know it? I know I jinxed it by saying a terrible trade. Alright, let's do one more. And... Oh. Alright, I'm going to do all of these, aren't I? Sharpness 3? Yeah, I'll take it. What's next? Okay, another sharpness three. I could at least join those together to create a sharp... Oh, what else was on that? Flame, power, and sharpness. Ooh, okay, all right. You're a bit of redemption there. Lure, okay. Not really useful for me. And smite, all right. <laughs> so there we go. This is... Uh, I guess this is um, karma, really. So this whole area is probably not going to be that useful in future versions of Minecraft unless they make another change and they allow... A max mob cramming in a different way, or I could probably make this a little bit different, maybe a bit more wider or something. Um, but yeah, certainly not going to be used the same way that I have been using in the past. But um, 
there we go. So I'm going to end the episode here. We've done some enchantments, made some improvements in this area. There's probably one more little thing that I'll do over in this space, which is make this uh, an extra block wide and make this portal just a little bit wider so we can move some of those skeleton horses we have over on the mainland there near our guardian farm so I can bring them through into our tunnel system here and probably store some more over in this area here. But um, anyway, I'll do that off camera. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Thanks, guys. Cheers.